So because iodine could actually visually give us a color change with starch, we want to use that iodine so we can actually see if it has starch in it. In this experiment, we use starch as the indicator because there is a compound called iodine solution, right? And iodine solution is a solution. It's a red-brown solution. But the thing about iodine solution is that when it makes contact with specifically starch, it changes color, right? So only if it comes into contact with starch, it turns blue to black. Well, blue-black, right? Now, if, it, if there's no starch present, then iodine will just remain the normal red-brown color it is, right? So the reason why we're doing this experiment is because the idea or the train of thought that we want to be thinking is if a plant is photosynthesizing, we expect that it will make glucose, right? Because the main point of photosynthesis is to make food for the plant. And the specific food that the plant makes for itself is glucose, so once the plant is, is photosynthesizing, we expect that glucose would have been made. And as you could see, one of the storage molecules for glucose is starch. So during the day, when the plants are all photosynthesizing, it means they will have starch stored inside of the plant, right? Now, for the in order for us to do this experiment, the thing about it is if I was to go and buy a bottle of iodine and I just take the iodine and drop it onto the plant, the plant not just going to change color. Reason being is, if you all recall, the leaves have what is called a waxy cuticle. So that layer of wax, it, it means that if I drop that iodine on it, the iodine is just going to roll off the leaf, right? Because the waxy cuticle protects it. So we have a bunch of steps to actually do before we add the iodine to the leaf so that the leaf could actually take up the color of the iodine, right? Now, the next thing about it is, if you all think about a leaf, obviously the first thing you think is that the leaf is green, right? So if I'm trying to add a color on top of a color, it will be difficult for me to actually see any color changes, right? So we're going to do an experiment where we could actually see a color change occurring in the leaf. So before we actually add iodine, there are a bunch of different steps we have to do first that will enable us to actually see the color change, right? So this is basically the test that we're going to do and this is all the um what you call it there's all these steps involved in the method right so if it is you have done this in school already then you'll be familiar with it um otherwise can you do this at home oh, i recommend not right so this is the method so if CXA ever asks you for to design an experiment to investigate photosynthesis has occurred in a plant this is an experiment that you could do right now i'm going to quickly run through the um the steps involved in it for y'all before i um before i draw reference to the image right so you want to investigate if photosynthesis has occurred in a plant right so obviously we just expect that plants were photosynthesizing right so we're going to take a leaf and in investigating if photosynthesis has occurred we know that the whole point of photosynthesis is that the plant is making food for itself, right? And the food that the plant makes for itself is in this form called glucose, right? But the thing about glucose that we learned, one of the fates of glucose is that it could be converted into the storage molecule called starch, right? So this means that plants that were photosynthesizing, they would have starch in them, right? So... In testing a leaf for um, photosynthesis, we could test the leaf for starch because we expect that the leaf that was photosynthesizing has starch in it, but we also expect, well, we also know that starch reacts with this compound called iodine. So because iodine could actually visually give us a color change with starch, we want to use that iodine so we could actually see if it has starch in the leaf, right? So the thing about this experiment is that like I said, we can't just take iodine and just drop it on a leaf just so because we wouldn't actually be able to see the color change because the leaf has a cuticle and the leaf is green. So we have experiment. Well, we have steps to do in the experiment before we could do the iodine so that we'd actually be able to see the color change, right? But we just basically, yeah, I guess we force any leaf to absorb the to absorb the iodine, right? So 
first things first is that we want to stop all by we want to stop all chemical processes in the leaf right because we expect that photosynthesis already happened the starch already inside the leaf all we're trying to see is a color change right so the first step is boiling the leaf right so the first step is what we will observe over here the leaf in boiling water so in a lab setting you put your water in a beaker you set up your bunsen burner um you set up a tripod and you boil your water right now we put the leaf inside of boiling water and this will stop any biochemical reactions right because remember we expect that photosynthesis already happened right so the starch is inside of that leaf right so after we boil the leaf you boil it for like about 20 seconds then you take out your leaf right now the next step invo involves ethanol which is a very flammable substance so we don't just put ethanol into the beaker we actually add ethanol into a test tube first right when we put ethanol into our test tube then we put that test tube inside the boiling water so we expect that when the water heats up and boils then it will get the ethanol hot as well right then we put our leaf inside of that ethanol and the idea is that in this step the ethanol will dissolve the green color or it will dissolve the chlorophyll from the leaf right so in doing so the reason why we want to do that is because our leaf is green so if we add a color to a color it's going to be very hard for us to actually see a color change so what we do is we want to remove the color or strip the green color so ethanol it dissolves the green color so what you'll notice is that when you boil a leaf in ethanol the ethanol turns to green and your leaf when the green color comes out of it it appears white so what we expect to have happen after this second step here is we expect to have a white leaf right so where we end up or we end up remaining with a white or decolorized leaf right but you think about this white leaf now is that it's very brittle from the eth ethanol so we want to just kind of wash it and get it to be soft again right so we put we dunk the leaf into a beaker cold water our white leaf and after this point we take it out quickly and then we could do our starch test right so what we have now is a white leaf and we want to see if this is going to react with iodine right so we get our solution of iodine we take a drop of iodine and we want to add like three to four drops of iodine to our leaf right so again what you'll notice about the iodine is that the actual iodine solution is red brown in color right your leaf is white at this point so when you add three four drops of your iodine to your leaf you're gonna look for a color change if a color change happens the only color change that you'll see happening is your leaf turning to blue to black right sorry blue black i keep saying blue to black right it will look blue black like this like what you're seeing in this image here and if it turns blue black what that means is that starch was present why would starch be present because if photosynthesis occurs the idea is that glucose has been made right that glucose subsequently is converted into starch as storage so once a leaf has been photosynth photosynthesizing starch will be present and because starch reacts with iodine to give us this blue to black color change we expect that once the leaf turns blue black it means that photosynthesis was occurring in that leaf right if for some reason photosynthesis wasn't occurring like if your plant was in the dark and it had no access to sunlight so it couldn't photosynthesize you would have no color change right so in this instance if there is no starch present in your leaf then that means that no photosynthesis has occurred so there wouldn't be a color change and it will just look like the red brown color of the iodine itself when you drop it onto it right so that is the experiment to investigate whether or not photosynthesis has occurred the main thing that CXE actually wants you to know is how to do the experiment right so these are the different steps you're boiling your leaf in hot water then you're boiling it in ethanol then you're dunking it in cold water and then you're adding iodine and looking for a color change right those are your main steps for this experiment i'll explain it for you all again but so far rate your understanding out of 10 of the experiment
Miss, I'm at 10, right? But I just okay. want to make sure I understand. So yeah. you can re-explain everything. Okay. Okay, no problem. Could you not, could you know, that was such a funny intro, though. You were like, Miss, I'm a 10. But okay, no problem. Let me do this.